click, click. Hi there, this is Take from BigHeadTaco.com and I'm down here in Blood Alley in Gastown, Vancouver. If you just pan over to, the, to my right and then you can pan over here to the left. And do we want to do a 180? Let's do 180. We'll stop there and come back here on me. We're just uh, down here doing another camera review. I thought I would do a review on one of my favorite cameras of all time is the Ricoh GR series. So this is the original Ricoh, the GR1. I bought this for my wedding anniversary so that I could, uh, I had two, DS, two SLRs, film SLRs, but I wanted to have something smaller so we went to the different shows and restaurants and buffets, something smaller to take around. And then I actually realized that even when I was doing some wedding shoots that this camera came into hand, was really handy because of the size that it was. Uh, it was a very unique camera at the time. Um, aperture control just on the top here, exposure compensation over here, very quick shooter. And one of the things that all the GR series cameras have in common is they have this thing called snap mode and I'll talk about that a little bit later. But anyways, I thought I would show this one, my first Rico, the GR, and GR eventually went into digital. So if you leave the camera there, my next Rico GR was the GR D4. So there was a GR D1, two, three, and I eventually got the four. Again, a lot of the, uh, just one second, you can see how it's very similar in size and design these two different cameras are. So this is film and this is digital, but very similar in design. So I got the GRD4, it's a much smaller sensor, one over 1.7, but it had many of the same features of the original GR1 film camera, which is it's compact, it's small, it's discreet, and very quick shooter. One of the things that I always appreciated about all the digital uh, Ricoh GRs is that it's all one-handed operation. So there's no need to have buttons on this side. It's all shooting by one hand, very customizable. So the GRD4, it was kind of a quirky camera. DP Review didn't even do a full review on it because I guess they were either undecided on it or they felt that it was too weird of a camera for them to feature that they wouldn't sell enough of them. But really this camera had quite a cult status and they had different special editions. There was a Stussy, Stussy special edition and there was a white version of this camera as well. So uh, really cool camera. A lot of guys didn't, a lot of people didn't buy it because of the smaller sensor. But finally, last year, what came out? I'm going back down again. I'm back. It is the Ricoh GR, but this isn't just any GR. This is the GR Limited Edition. So I waited a little bit. Uh, the original one came out, the black one, but I knew that Ricoh would eventually come out with a special edition. And this is the GR Special Edition. Look how beautiful this camera is. It has a, uh, first of all, it has a lot of accessories. I didn't bring them all. This is the, the special case. The standard one comes just in black, but this is kind of an olive green. It comes with an olive green leather strap, as well as the uh, GH3 adapter and uh, hood, but it's kind of a speckled uh, finish on it. But this one here has kind of a hammered green finish, as well as they claim it's a wood handle, but mm, it's probably a wood veneer handle. But I think it looks beautiful and uh, it's not as stealth as the all black GR. Just one more second again. So the GR, the new GR, some people call it the GR5, so it looks very similar to the GRD4. It's very hard to tell the difference, but there's a huge difference between these cameras, which is this one, again, is a one, over 1.7 inch uh, sensor, and this one here is a APS-C size sensor. So it is uh, a lot of uh, the uh, DSLRs have the exact same size sensor as this, but you can see how tiny this camera is. Notice the size difference in these two. There isn't actually a huge size difference between these two cameras. And in fact, I'll be back again. You can see all three of these cameras are very similar in size. Now this, again, is an APS-C, so it's not as large as this, which is a, a full 35 mil film camera, but it's uh, like a 35 or full frame digital sensor today. So this is getting closer, but still not the same size, but for most photographers, I think APS-C is the ideal size for, uh, for price point and for image quality. So um, I'll go back again. So anyways, the Ricoh GR5, special edition. I'm actually surprised there isn't a lot of videos 
featuring the special edition and even the GR when it came out last year, a few of the guys, Digital Rev did, a, did one on this. I think the Camera Storm Calgary did one, but not a lot of other people, other than like Adorama and b &H, sort of like the corporate type uh, reviews, not a lot of people reviewed it. And I think for a street photographer, this is one of the coolest cameras. And I'll show you one of the reasons why. So if Luna Key will just back up just a little bit, if you could see where my hands are, can you see my hands? Very good. So if you could see my hands, and I'm gonna approach here, you don't even realize, if you look down at my hands again, you don't realize that I have a powerhouse of a camera in my pocket. And oftentimes when I'm walking doing street photography, I'll have my GR with me, I'll have it in my pocket like this, and people don't even realize I'm a photographer. And even if I had it out and I had the neck strap on it, people still assume I'm just a tourist. But they don't realize how powerful this camera is, as small as it is. So let's kind of come back to where we were here before. So being stealth and small, now this is a little bit of a bling version, but even still, as I shoot with this, people still think that I'm just a tourist. And as a street photographer, you want to be as invisible as possible. So this is the perfect tool. And as I mentioned before, one of the things that every Ricoh GR had, so the GR1, GR1S, the V, the GR21, the GR10, and then the GR Digital Series, one, two, three, four, and the five, they have one feature called Snap Focus. And the Snap Focus is probably one of the coolest features, especially for street photographers, in that it allows you to have a preset distance that you set yourself. So I like about 2.5 meters. So where we are now, maybe a little bit further back. So this is probably about 2.5 meters. So I set the camera to 2.5 meters. And when I set it at that, most cameras you have to press halfway to autofocus and then all the way down to shoot, right? So this is the same with the GR. You press halfway and then you press all the way down to shoot. But on this camera, if you press all the way down, it jumps. So without pressing halfway, it jumps straight to snap focus and it jumps to your preset 2.5 meters. Now if you're doing street style photography and you're set at 2.5 meters, F8, maybe ISO 1600, one of the things is you don't even have to focus. You just have to press it like that and automatically you get the shot. So I have it set at snap focus and as I mentioned, it is set at 2.5 meters and Maybe it's hard to see that or not. Is it? Can you see it, uh, Luna Kiwi? Is it a little bit uh, uh, blurry or? Yeah, it's all right. But anyways, that that's this shot is in focus and it's sharp. So as a street photographer, that's beautiful. Another thing I like to do is again, Luna Kiwi, if you put your hand down, if you want to shoot from the hip, look how small this camera is. You can walk and with your thumb, you can shoot with this camera like that and be very discreet. Now don't do upskirt shots or don't do anything illegal, but with this camera set at uh, snap focus, again, even up against your chest like this, and you can shoot, and at your predestined uh, distance, your snap focus, you can get the shot. So that's one of the coolest features about this Ricoh GR. There's no viewfinder on this. Um, a lot of people don't like that. They'll get the viewfinder on the top, but um, uh, I think that as a street cell photographer, uh, having a viewfinder is great. It's nice, but if you know the angle of view of your camera, which is a 28mm equivalent, you don't really need a viewfinder many times, although sometimes you do. So uh, this is just my quick review of the Ricoh GR Limited Edition. Uh, I will do sort of a head-to-head -head test up against the Ricoh GRD4, uh, just to show you what the differences are between the two. I love both, I have both, so uh, there are reasons why you would want to keep this, and other reasons why you want the, the, the bigger one. But uh, for now, let's just say that this is a great street style photographer camera and I recommend anyone who wants to shoot street style to get a camera like this. So thank you very much for watching. Again, this is Big Head Taco filming from Gastown. Happy shooting.